virtual classes at Tingsboro High School and Middle School have been halted by a hacker. And tonight, school officials think that someone is deliberately doing this with the device being brought onto school property. Christina Rex has the story. This cyber attack could be criminal or it could be a technological accident. Either way, it cost Tingsboro Middle and High School students a full week of regular learning. Not only do we got to worry about COVID, but we got to worry about cyber attacks now, too. A cyber attack in Tingsboro left students unable to do their schoolwork for a full week. The first couple of days that it happened, like, no one knew what to do. We were just sitting in classrooms, like... Yeah, just, just waiting, got, yeah, for, something waiting for something. Kids are in school four days a week, but doing most of their assignments online until the internet stopped working Monday. By Friday, the district determined it was not just spotty internet, but a potentially criminal cyber attack caused by a device brought into the building each morning. I think there's a higher probability that there was a misconfiguration or the appliance itself had something just gone wrong and it, and it just sent out this overwhelming amount of traffic and, and really it, the appliance itself was the attack. But police are investigating the possibility it was intentional, which concerns parents. Whoever it is, it's just, it's sad and I hope we find out like how it happens, we can prevent it from happening in the future. In a statement, the superintendent said, while we're confident that we will soon rectify the situation, I'm upset for the difficulty and disruption this has caused our students, family, and staff. Students learned remotely on Friday to avoid the internet issue. And we're just like trying to figure out who would kind of do that. Like it's our yeah. senior year. We kind of want to make the best <laughs> of like the year and everything. And someone bringing that into like our school year, it's kind of upsetting. Since Monday's a school holiday, the district is hoping it can use the three-day weekend to get to the bottom of this and get kids back in the classroom on Tuesday. In Tingsboro, Christina Rex, WBZ News. All right.